Welcome to the Old Timer Centre and thanks for watching our video. My name is Philip Tarrant and today I'm going to talk to you about a 2009 Mercedes-Benz SL500 we've just brought into stock. It's gunmetal grey in colour with black leather interior and being a 2009 model it is the update series. It's got the 5.4 litre V8 engine and it is the facelift. It's got the 7 speed gearbox and it's got many options. In fact I don't think there's any room pretty much for anything else. You've got push button start, distance cruise control, you've also got a warning if you're approaching someone too close or if you're not concentrating. You've got your automatic body control system, which is standard on all 500s. You've got a mercury sensor. You can fold in the mirrors. That's an internal sensor, so if you leave a pet in the car or a child, um, you can turn that off so it doesn't set the alarm off. And that's simply to put the suspension up. This is the electric switch for the roof. And these switches here are for the rollover protection, so you can put the roll bar up if you're going to a racetrack or something like that and it's got the wood grain steering wheel. It also has heated and air conditioned seats, memory electric seats. It's also got the scarf ventilation here. It's got these very nice looking black Mercedes-Benz style wheels. The car is in particularly good condition. I can't see any, any marks on the car at all. It's been very well looked after and being a 2009 model it actually looks like or very similar to the current shape which is why I think they're such good value. Brand new these cars were nearly $300,000 with options. We'll open the boot which is also nice and clean You've got plenty of room in the back. There's, it's got a very good battery, it's got a Mercedes battery. So this has been put in upside down. Okay. There we go. So when you actually have the roof down, if you want to put a suitcase in the back of the car, you can simply press this button and the roof comes out of the back of the car, allows you to put in the suitcase, then the roof goes back in. And it happens very quickly. The SL was the first convertible in the world to offer that feature in around 2002. And now there's a few other makes doing the same thing. Um, and some cars like BMWs have only just started doing it. but it's a very nice car indeed. It's also got the much newer seats. That, that, that vent there is for the scarf. Ventilation. It's got keyless entry obviously, keyless start, xenon lights, the electric roof works beautifully. It's got a nice set of continental tyres. The good thing about this metallic grey colour is it's very easy to keep clean. Now you can tell from looking at the outside of the car whether it has the distance cruise control because the Mercedes-Benz badge looks like this. See how it's like a, a glass or a plastic? That's because behind that is the sensor, which is quite clever. But it's absolutely beautiful to drive. It's got a great service history to it. And look, the fact that it's done 97,000 kilometres, nearly 100,000 kilometres, to me is a good thing, because it means you're going to get it for much better value than you would buying one for 60, 70 or 80,000 kilometres. It looks absolutely stunning. It's got two remote keys. Let's we'll start it up. That red light's just the handbrake. It also has navigation, as you would expect.
It's a navigation system. Obviously, you've got your parking sensors front and back. Also has the Alcantara roof, which is an option as well. I mean, there's a lot of options on these cars which you can't see as well as what you can. So the Harman Kardon sound system. And really, in my experience, it doesn't matter what year a Mercedes-Benz SL is. If it is an SL and it is looked after and it is Australian delivered, it will always be worth good money. Even the R129 from 1989 to, nine, uh, to around 2000, uh, they dropped down as low as $20,000 for very high kilometre um, average vehicles and they started to go up. So now a good one would cost you anywhere from forty to fifty thousand dollars with decent kilometres in decent condition. So I would like to think that if you bought something like this, your resale would be more than reasonable. Obviously, when you buy them new, it's not the same situation. You do lose a lot of money when you buy a brand new one. But when they get to this age and these kilometres. Uh, generally, I, I find they're very good buying. Well, thank you so much for watching our video. We're located in Marrickville. We are the old timer centre. We're 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. I can hear a plane going over right now, actually. And uh, we certainly look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much for watching.